<laughs> Hello guys, I hope you all are doing well. I am Lisa Marie Harris. I just want to make a little makeup tutorial. I also set up my studio. Let's get started. All right, let's get started. First, I just clean my face. So I always use some nice rose water. It's the Vich Hazel. I really love that one and I just apply it like this. It's a nice refreshing. Tastes good. I mean, smells good. <laughs> I love this moisture from Clinique. I just applied it a little quick. Oops. And put it all over my face. But first, I start with my eyes because when I already have the foundation and powder and then I mess up with my eyeshadow and then I have all the stuff here and then it's a whole nightmare. So I really recommend first applying a concealer. I love this from NYX. It's very nice. So I just start applying it under my eyes and on my eyelids. Mm -hmm. And I actually just use my finger, my ring finger to just apply it. Let's just start from the inside. Because it makes the skin structure more even, so it's way nicer when you apply eyeshadow and it just looks, it pops more and just gives a nice smooth finish. So, I know it looks really, really funny right now. I totally love those natural cosmetic and I still have because I'm from Vienna, Austria, I still have my powder from Albert. I, I just, Alverde, Albert, I don't know how I spell it in English. I say Alverde, and I just love that it's cute free, it's vegan, and I love the Axam design. They are handmade brushes, they are vegan, and it's synthetic hair, which is great. Because you know, what if you have a client and this person is allergic to some real hair and then the face will up or I don't know or it just I just go with my powder it's just a nice powder and I just apply the powder on my eyelids and a little under it so I mean I'm always a little purple under my eyes this is just just who I am <laughs> so nobody's perfect and that's okay that's totally fine all right so this is not nice and that um and then I go with my next baked eyeshadow brush manage, and then I just apply it you always want to put the too much whatever is too much on the pencil just shake it out or you know, do it like that <laughs> if you don't have a whole uh, mess on your face. And I just put it a little bit under my eyebrows and a little bit here and in the front. So heads up, English is my second language. So when I say something maybe not correct in English, please forgive me for that. Uh, my native language is German, so I try to translate all my thoughts and my way how I apply my makeup. <laughs> so just a heads up. Um, the thing is why I did not do my eyebrows. I always dye my eyebrows because I just don't really have eyebrows when I wouldn't dye them. And at the very end, I show how I do my eyebrows. So that's why I didn't did it first. From Sephora, a palette. I love it. Colors, you can use it as eyeshadow or as blush. I already have this brush. I think 15 years. My mom gave it to me and this is my only real hairbrush. So I love this one a lot. And um, that's, I always think about my mom when I use this. So thanks mom. Usually I don't really spend a lot of money on brushes because there are already so many other brands who are way more affordable and they have the same kind of quality. So I just want to help and people want to have nice brushes then I will send you down a link that you have nice brushes for a very nice deal and yeah that's 
a little tip here. <laughs> so I use this color here, a lighter one. And start from the outside to the inside and just blend it in. The thing is, always never do it like this because then you really have way more harder look. You want it more smooth and soft. That's why I use it, the brush <laughs> always at very, more at the end. So you have a better airbrush look. You know, here's the thing, like everyone's face is like from the structure not completely perfect. So like like this side of my face, like kind of like you see the eyebrow is like slightly hangs. So for me, it's always a little confusing when I apply my makeup. I'm like, oh, <laughs> I'm like a little um, off here, but that's okay. It is perfect. Then I go with a purple. I got this just for fun, but I actually really love this eyeshadow palette. It's called Brazil. And I have really cool eyeshadows. I mean, look at this choices and options and opportunities. This purple here. This brush. I have it for a few years and I got it from a street artist, makeup artist, and the brand is called GLMR. I mean, it broke for accident, so I fixed it, but I really love this brush for darker colors. And just, you see, wow, there would be lots of stuff messed up on my face when I wouldn't do it. So always like, or shake it out. On the lower part of my eyelid, just blend it in. That was to take a little bit and put it a little bit downer here, just from the outside to the inside. <laughs> and then you take this one here. And then the same thing and get closer. This is my blending brush, Aqua Tools, very affordable and they really, really make a nice finish on your whole look. So just blend everything in and just blend to get a very nice, smooth look. And here. To blend is such very important. So I take like my MAC eyeshadow, like black, and this is a very cool mix of red and gray and black. So with this one, this is actually base mall. And then And then I just take lower part from my eyelid and go from outside to the inside. So I kind of already make a thicker, smooth line that I kind of have a guideline when I put my eyeliner on how it will look. I feel like there's always one eye, it's more complicated as the other eye. I think everybody deals with the same problem. It's just, <laughs> I feel like it's always a little challenge every, every time you do a cool makeup. It's always like, okay, I have to make it even, try to make it look perfect. That's this perfectionist in me who kind of <laughs> freaks out. So I like this brand, Laura Gella. It's a waterproof Kyle and it's just perfect when you want a nice finish on the waterline so I just <laughs> take my lashes kind of look up and just uh, blend it probably looks really funny from this angle <laughs> so I got now both waterlines done and now I start also with the lower part uh, it's okay when you have to cry a little bit <laughs> I'm still um, starting to get watery eyes so that's normal that's why i use a waterproof brand that i don't have i got all over my face and look like alice cooper i mean i love alice cooper nothing wrong with that but sometimes you won't have this kind of look <laughs> um just a heads up i really love this eyeliner from l'oreal paris it is waterproof and just all those stays forever. I'll go from the inside to the outside and just try to make the wing like a nice wing. So when you get the first part done, you want to kind of measure your face with this brush 
I use that and just see like a skyline how I'm gonna use it from the nose. You see this part here? And then I kind of know, okay, my wing goes like this. Wish me good luck. Cover it dry. Oh, now with my Emacs Design brush, it's a smaller one. And I want to go this time, um, the same how I started, just blend this all together. I shed it from Sephora and I just take my little ring finger and I just, I love when it has this little finish here. I just go in the middle of my eyelid and just carefully apply. It's just this little touch of something which I really like. And to be honest, I usually really like to use my finger for this type of thing because you get more particles. And now I want to take care of my eyebrows. Eyebrow brush. I actually really use hairspray. And this is how I do it. Okay, hold your breath and just apply the hairspray on the eyebrow brush. And then I just usually start from the front and just go up this way. Yep. Oops. Got that done. And now, before I forget, oh my gosh. So, when I have shows or have a bigger event, I like to use like fake lashes. But today, I just want to apply some mascara. Because why not? Less is more. <laughs> and then I just um, go this way. I just mix the sign brushes. It just brush and just get rid of whatever is particles from my eyeshadow just go from the inside to the outside just don't press too much because when there are some particles on it you really would press them in and it really would look messy so just fluffy. like in the movies when you do like this la, la, la. <laughs> all right looks good and now the foundation I love to use this little makeup palette I have a big one, but this is more convenient. You can even put it on your finger here. How about that? And I love the foundation from NYX. So this is the palest one I got. I really love this one. And it's actually called Pale. And then I got the color. It's called Beige. So this is obviously too dark for me. So I actually mix them both together on my little makeup palette. So I start with the pale one. I usually take a little more of that and just drop a few drops. And then I apply a few drops. With the beige one, usually just one. Because it's more darker. And I actually just take a brush and just the end from the brush and just kind of mix them together to make sure I get the right color and then I take this is I love this brush from base mall I love using this for my foundation so I just carefully don't do too much just, just do like this and then you always start from the inside to the outside you start usually here don't forget the sides here and go until your ear and go down to your throat that you really don't look like a mask and everything is like here that you have a smooth finish. And then we come to my one of my favorite parts. We add a nice blush. Let's go with this nice dark, darker pink magenta mix. I really love my eco brushes. And then I just shake out. A little bit on the chin, here, nose, a little bit here. So that's the dark color. And then I take the same brush because I have two of them and take the lighter color of it to make a little bit more of a smooth look on the cheeks. I always love that because you kind of 
give it this soft, innocent vibe, charming vibe, and then I just smile and just get it this way a little. So, and before we forget, I take this brush here. Have to put it on my lips here. Then this part is done, the very last lipstick. Well, before I apply lipstick on my lips, I take my concealer again from NYX. I really love this one because um, I always add concealer on my lips before I apply lipstick because the color stays longer and it just pops more and it's just the same what I do with my eye shadow before I apply eyeshadow. I concealer on. I used this lip pencil from Lancome with the number 318 Red Noir. It's a dark red. It's a very nice red. And when I apply lipstick, so the thing is, when you just start with the cupid and go down, you mostly get those, <laughs> I mean, you get the heart shaped lips, but then you lose a little bit of the volume. So I would recommend to, when you start with the cupid, to go from the outside to the inside. Blend the lip color in with some lipstick. I always like to start with a very light red on Coulon. I take my GLMR brush and just start filling the color in my lips. And to get this nice ombre look, now I'm gonna take Another lipstick I have, I love to, to mix lipstick together, it just looks good. It's also from Kiko, and this is a very nice purple. This is the number 418. It's a very dark, dark purple. And just, just only apply it and fill it in from the outside to the inside. I take my concealer again, so a very nice shaped brush. I get this one here from Echo Design. So I like the shape here, you can tell. It's really good because you can apply it. The concealer very exact. Clever you messed up. So, and when this is done, it's pretty much done. For the very finish, I would definitely recommend putting a little finishing powder from NYX powder brush and just no you see, if you want to go there, I would already have the powder. And just go over the nose and just, you know, finish, finish up everything. So they don't shine too much. Voila! That's my own makeup tutorial for you guys. I hope you like it. When you like it, please uh, give me thumbs up or subscribe my channel. I think we're all so much more capable of different things so I always think you can do way more things as just one thing and I always say there are no limits in being an artist. Never forget that. All the best, stay strong, we're together in this and have a good good time. Bye bye.